Hello, and today I'd like to welcome you to a video on my Flight Duration 3 Rocket Factory. It has overflow protection, which means if you get too many rockets, it won't waste material, and it's got input protection, which means it will stop if it runs out of sugarcane or gunpowder. So let's have a look at how it works. So the design is a bit simpler than it initially looks, because it's really in two parts. Over here we have a pretty standard fill recipe um, item crafter. Um, I've shown this in a previous video. The only thing we've added is a bit of output protection. So when this crafts, it puts some items into this hopper, um, and that will immediately also power the block and lock the hopper feeding into it. This means that um, if that hopper doesn't clear, this won't craft. So we know that um, if the output's full, it'll stop making paper out of the sugarcane. And then over here we have something very similar. We're just waiting for this crafter to get up to level 9, held by this 8 signal. And once that's done, it will depower this torch. And if that plot depowers, um, which it might not, but I'll get into that in a second, it then starts a clock, so um, powers block, torch, override signal, depowers, powder, powers torch, block signal, round and round as a clock. It only has two additional features rather than just being a filled item creator. Um, it also uh, will lock this input hopper. So this hopper only unlocks for four ticks um, and it only unlocks when it's about to power that. So only one item will come in. Um, and it also has a output protection. So if that barrel ends up getting enough items into it that the signal gets from here to here with enough signal strength, it'll also turn off, so that's the output protection. And finally, it's monitoring this input hopper over here as well to make sure that it has some items to put that one item in. Now we'll just look at this side first. So we've got some paper in there at the moment, but we need some gunpowder, so I'll just add some extra gunpowder. We can see as it fills up, it runs the clock and starts the signal. If we take out the paper, you'll see that this stops because it doesn't have enough paper. When paper comes back in again, it starts again. So it needs both paper and gunpowder to function. And as I said before, if this barrel fills up above a certain level, it will also depower. Um, we combine these two together and you'll notice that they kind of fit. So this comparator into this block is also the same as what we have over here. So we're just putting them together over here into one contraption so that this buffer hopper between the two, because, you know, sugarcane makes three paper, not one, basically allows the two builds to work together. So paper will be crafted over here, put into that hopper, and once they're cleared, it'll craft another three paper. And while there's paper in here, and this is able to fill up, it'll run a four tick clock. So let's see it all together. We'll just put some sugarcane in here, so I'll grab some more sugarcane. Oh, we've got some sugarcane there already, so it must be the gunpowder we're out of, yes. So I'll just load up some gunpowder. As we can see, it's creating both the paper and the gunpowder together. It's relatively small. Um, the main reason I wanted to build it like this is to make sure that it was minecart compatible, so that I can have a minecart unloading system here. And if you know, we had too many rockets, it would just hold on to the minecart it uses to load the sugarcane and the gunpowder. Um, if it needed more sugarcane, it would hold the gunpowder until the sugarcane arrived and vice versa. So let's have a look how you build it. So we're going to start with the bottom layer first, so I'll just put in the output chest. A hopper. You also need a barrel. And the reason you need a barrel is if you put a hopper directly underneath the crafter, you are going to have problems because the crafter will just empty its items out into that hopper without crafting anything. Then we have a hopper going into there, and then we need another crafter pointing into that hopper. So those are our crafters. We'll do the first slice. So in the first slice, we need some glass here, because we're going to put a comparator there, and a solid block behind it and a solid block in front of it. And then we're just going to run a signal up. So one, two, three. We also need to have a signal over here, so I'm going to put a comparator over here as well. Whoops. That was not a comparator. 
We are going to need a compost over here, and I'll put some items in it in a little bit later. Put that into subtract mode. Into a block. Into our torch, so this is our locking line. We also need to lock this, if this is also empty, but rather than use a torch, I'm going to instead use a compatter knot gate. So we're just going to put a block there, compatter in subtract mode, and also into a block. So this block will have power if either of these are empty, or rather if that's empty or that isn't at a signal strength of 9, because we're going to subtract from it. Then we just need to have a repeater into here, and then we need to take the signal over our crafter and our hopper, so that when we run our clock, it allows one item through this hopper, but allows, you know, items into this craft all the time, and then powers it once it's locked that hopper again. So we can just put our hopper there, and an item for our gunpowder to come into, and while we're at it, we're just going to check the recipe. So this is going to be four items, three for the gunpowder, one for the paper. I'll just get some paper now. Hold on to that, because I'm going to need it in a second. Put the one paper in. I don't need to worry about the other slots. They can be empty. So that should be almost our first slice. We just need to finish turning this into a clock. So the signal comes up and around here. And we put one there to do the clock. You'll notice that it's firing now. Um, doesn't really matter because that's not going to do anything. Um, we'll fix it up once we um, load our composters. But for now we're just going to work on the second slice. So we're going to have a block on top here because that's what we're going to lock it with. Um, I will probably build from underneath though. So let's put our compost here. And I'm going to get my pies, which is my usual favourite item for loading composters. Uh, probably going to need that again. So we're going to load that to 8. And while that turns to 8, we'll do this at the same time. Okay. So we need to take a signal strength of this of 8 into a block, into a dust. I now need a trusty observer. So that comes into this block. We have a repeater on three ticks. This is simply, oops. Mustn't have had that clicked correctly. So that into three ticks. This is so that when that fires from getting to signal strength nine, we only get one signal underneath it. So we don't try to turn the uh, sugar cane into um, sugar. Now we can read that crafter into a block. So that's our single slice filled item crafter. Um, we just need to set it up so that this compatter here can also lock the hopper. And finally, we just need to finish this knot gate here. So we're just going to have that with one item in it. And that should be sufficient. So if we built this correctly, it should work. So I'm just going to check that that recipe is correct. That recipe is correct. Let's be brave and test this. Now let's get ourselves some sugar cane and some gunpowder. So I'll load up uh, sugar cane into this. So I just need to set it up so that we have hoppers here, which I did forget. This does need to be a hopper because this block can only lock a hopper here. Yeah, we'll put some sugar cane in. And we should be able to see that crafting paper into this one here, and as that signal strength gets up, it should climb from there to there now, and then in a little bit later, it'll climb over to here, locking this and stop it from crafting any more items. Um, it might take a little while. I think it gets to about, um, about there as it turns out. Okay, so now we have a backlog of 48 paper. Put our gunpowder in. And what we should see over here is it's now crafting our rockets. And as you can see, these are flight duration 3 rockets. Because if I'm going to autocraft rockets, I want them to be the ones that I would actually use, not just any old rockets. So, 
that's our flight duration 3 rocket factory um i hope you enjoyed it it should be compatible with any sort of minecart loading and unloading system because it will not waste items if it's got too many items in it or if it doesn't have enough to craft thank you for watching